Hey, this is Dave Liu with Guns.com, and today we're looking at two of the hottest guns out there right now, the Pit Viper and the Sand Viper. The Sand Viper is Terra Tactical's gun that, in its debut year, won the USPSA two-gun national. The Pit Viper is the hero gun for the new John Wick 4 movie, where Keanu Reeves will be using this very gun. Both of these guns are at the top of the food chain in all of guns, and they both carry a hefty price tag of $7,000. So this begs the question, uh, which one should you get? Which one is better? So I'm gonna buck standard good marketing practices and tell you right up front which one is better because uh, one, I hate it when people do that, but two is because it's honestly, it's a little bit of a trick question. The answer is they're actually the same gun. Now the story goes, as told to me from Terra Tactical Innovations, is that the Pit Viper was the first gun really designed. It was designed for the John Wick 4 movies and it was the one that's gonna be debuted. It was initially supposed to come out in 2021 with the launch of the movie John Wick 4. However, John Wick 4 kept getting pushed back, one because of COVID, but then because The Matrix Resurrections was coming out and the studio didn't really want two Keanu Reeves movies coming out the same season. This left TTI with a big problem. They basically had already built a lot of pit vipers and this was millions of dollars of inventory just sitting in a warehouse. That's not good business sense. But what could they do? The Pit Viper was tied to the John Wick 4 movie and its release, so they really couldn't release it. Luckily though, all the guns did not have a coating yet put on them, their final finish. Therefore, the decision was made to change the final finish color to copper and put in an optic cut. That way they could rebrand it as the Sand Viper and release it before the movie. And that wouldn't interfere with the Pit Viper's debut when the movie actually would come out. And it's coming out in March, 2023. So I've already done a review of the Pit Viper. I'm not gonna rehash all that with you. The link's down below, go ahead and check that out. But in essence, the upgrades of the Pit Viper and the Sand Viper over a regular 2011 are that it has a integrated comp sight block on the front, amazing hand stippled grip. The internals are upgraded to an amazing hand tuned trigger job and spring kit for them. There's an extended slide stop and magazine release button. And finally, the fangs, those are unique to these guns. And if you don't know what those are, go check out the other review. Now, really the only differences are, one, the color. The finish color is different. The actual finish is the same. It's just the color. One is kind of a copper bronze, the other is black. Second, the optic cut. The Sand Viper has an optic cut, the Pit Viper does not. Now I'm told in the future, one day when they actually build enough of them, they will be offering a optic cut version of the Pit Viper. For right now though, if you want an optic cut, Sand Viper. So in conclusion, they're both phenomenal to shoot and they're basically kind of basically identical to shoot. Um, incredibly flat shooting, almost no recoil and just amazing. I found even in the hands of novice shooters, they shoot these guns well because the triggers are just so good and since there's almost no recoil, they get great hits. But really, to push the performance envelope and to get everything out of these guns, you need to be a little bit trained. If, you're, if you know what you're doing, these guns will run it out of the park. It's amazing to see what a real competition shooter can do with these guns. And that's why they run the USPSA Two Gun Nationals. So again, if you like shooting red dots, the Sand Viper. If you like iron sights, the Pit Viper. If you like black, the Pit Viper. If you like copper, the Sand Viper. If you want a screen accurate John Wick 4 gun, it's the Pit Viper. In the end, honestly, these are the best guns money can buy. So what do you think? Was this interesting? Uh, let us know in the uh, comments below and remember to like and subscribe.